when did you briefly come into the, the sport of pigeon racing? Well, 15 year old, I think. Um, grandfather had pigeons. Um, started with tumblers. Yep, right. Yep. Back garden, backyard. Right. Uh, graduated on, still at school when we started to race pigeons in Oddfellas. Yep. Uh, and just from there on, I just um, went to different partnerships and myself and Ian and brother Stephen been flying since 2000 as the partnership as it is now. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of a lot of lost round you. you. I believe you're flying a compound to, to be in the radius You've, of this club, is that correct? That's right, that's right. You've got to fly, uh, to fly in Oddfellas Home Society, you must be on the land that is actually owned by Oddfellas Home Fellas, Society. Right. Uh, nobody outside the that um, the boundaries can fly pigeons. Right. They must be inside these, these boundaries. boundaries. And how many and lofts is inside these boundaries? At the moment, there's about 24 flying yeah. lofts. Right. Possibly, I mean, there's actually lofts where we're not actually flying at the moment, yeah. but we, we have had up to 20, 28 lofts. Right. Um, so, uh, average, birdage, anything. I mean, some of the some of the early races a lot don't send, so you might start with 400 and then anything up to 700, 800 oh, in the club. That's in one club? That's in the club. Odd fellas, that's, yeah. that's as many sometimes as one, some federations. Yeah, one of, the biggest, one of the biggest clubs in uh, Sunderland Premier, I think we we'll have uh, this Prehens Farm Club possibly, uh, and a couple of other clubs might, you know, have the same amount of birds or somewhere in here, but um, when the pigeons come over, you know there's been that many of you. Yeah, yeah. very good. Who yeah. oh, oh do you admire yeah. or could look up to as being an outstanding fancy here, or was probably you know, had outstanding performances or has helped you in, in pigeon racing in general? Yeah. Um, as in club wise, there's several members in the club who flew. There's a lad next door there, uh, Steve Potts. He flies a phenomenal pigeon, Widowhood. Right. If if you beat him, you know you've got a canny pigeon. Is he in the same club you say? He's in this club here. He flies just behind us there. Yeah. Um, a lad called Geordie Collin, the club, who's actually had a first up north combine and two second up north combines oh, that that's, that's the best that's i mean there's uh, nobody will do that and not in this club right. um as in the fed your people who you admire is the people who send every week and who you've got to try to beat um yeah. and and they take it as in good you know as in sport that if they beat the beat off a better pigeon at the time which is nice it's sport, yeah uh, sportsmanship. that's yeah. sportsmanship that's where it's got to be um uh, ronnie evans for the pigeons I've had off him, um, I've had Wildermish uh, yep. off Marzia, Taylor and Robson right. from down Great Eden. Right. Uh, marvellous pigeons, probably the best pigeons I've ever ever owned. Yep. Uh, and the lads up uh, Hollywell, Hall Brothers, who were predominant um, Eaton Marshall pigeons. Oh yeah, Eaton Marshall. I took them and crossed all these pigeons in and yep. basically uh, the blues and the checkers that come out are all those pigeons and them's the performance pigeons. And they're the backbone of your present yeah. day pigeons at this moment in time. And you've got your Alanine Darfs who go without yeah. seeing who fly in Washington Celtic. Yeah, I um, Started me with some good pigeons. Um, and Chapman Summon Swinburne flies down the front end there, down Teesside. See them again. They've done first, is it uh, two days ago? I think they took the first five in the Federation. That's right, they? aye. Uh, and their first, the first race, race aye. Which is uh, phenomenal. phenomenal yeah. aye. I mean, the, he flies a good against uh, some, a lot of pigeons in their Federation down there as well. Yeah. Yeah. What would you recommend to any anybody what's like novices or new starters or not won a lot, what's been in sport so many years? Yeah. Would you um, help them out? What, you know, what would yeah. your. Basically, uh, the, same, the, the same thing goes as when I first started racing, um, racing pigeons, um, went to a, a good loft. The, the, the guy was a, a pigeon man called Morel, Billy Morel, flew at uh, Houston, um, and went there. And I think what you've got to do is get yourself some laid breads. Or yeah. I, I don't think I don't know if you have to be laid breads, but as long as they're off the actual quality pigeons, right. uh, you don't have to pay a lot of money for them if if you know what you're after. Yeah. Um, and basically take your time to get pigeons off them and don't give up on them in the first year or second year. Yeah. Give them a bit of time. Um, I think if basically this, to start off, you need to have a video. Watch that video of someone who's uh, a good flyer and use that as a basis right. to, you know, um, you, can, you can use the feeding system, and but use that as a basis, basis to start off yep. and build on that. Uh, watching three or four videos, right, you watch them, 
but only take notice of a one, so, one so you can actually basically start yourself away till you um don't try and do too many that's things exactly. so try and learn if the you know first. if you know what you're doing yep. then you can time to change it around yourself and then think to yourself and yeah, we might need to do this this week or do that this week you know um and yep. i think that's the only way to go on with if you get too involved with everybody's telling you what to do i think that's how a lot of them just lose heart yeah and at the end of the day, they just say, no, I've had a go for two years, the pins have never come, I'm oh, just going to call it a day. Today, so be and I think that's, as they that's come it. In. Sports, we've lost, you know, probably, you know, members of the club, and that's what, it. What could have probably been yeah. a, a lifetime yeah. in the sport that's if it had exactly. been, been, you know, Once they get a win down, or not even a win, just a, a turn in the club, yep. that's them hooked, and that's what you want. Yep. You need, uh, you know, youth to get, you know, a bit of excitement out of it and appreciate what, what pigeons can do. Do you think, on the amount of money spent, do you think money can buy success? No, I don't think so, no. Um, I mean, there's obviously pigeons there to buy and pay a lot of money for, yeah. and you'll get the pigeon that you want, and the pigeon will be a performance pigeon or a pigeon that'll breed phenomenal pigeons. Yeah. But they're still out there where you can go, I, mean, I, don't, I don't pay a lot of money for pigeons, I can't afford a lot of money for pigeons. Well, that's right. Yeah, I pay, um, <laughs> basically, the, the, where I get my pigeons is I've got friends in the sport, and we just swap, and when we've got a good pigeon, somebody else, like, um, like some lads who I fly, you know, fly with, they'll see it, right, take one of them, and we'll swap them. But I don't think uh, this uh, money doesn't doesn't buy the doesn't buy the pigeon. Honesty, the pigeon, honesty, um, having good friends, what's good friends, gonna let you have the genuine pigeons. I don't like I say, I don't pay a lot of money for pigeons. Um, it's not when you can get them off friends and the, the, the pigeons that you want. And they're going to do the job, what's going to do the job. doing it at this moment yeah. in time. Do you fly uh, widowed or semi widowed, you know, or roundabout or one loft to one and, and one loft to the other? Right, we have, we have uh, 24 pair on roundabout, two separate lofts, like right. two tra separate sections, and then we have 12 cocks which are just solely widowhood cocks. Right. The hens are all kept all at kept home. back at home, yeah. yeah. So. yeah. And uh, what these widowed cocks basically. Um, are they locked in boxes or are they just... No, they're just, we have a, a, the pen fronts on um, and they actually sit on the, on the, the, the four inch which is left at the, big, at the front of the, of the pens. Right. Yeah. And what about the end? You know these ends? What are you doing with these roundabout ends then, David? How do the you roundabout know? hens. Um, have they got, are they on V perches or are they, mm -hmm. um, you know? We've, no, what we've done, we've put a, uh, they're just a box perch, but they're an easy clean one. Right. So it's where they have uprights, there's no upright in them where they is. But it's cut away so your scraper goes flying through like an American type of thing, what's, yes. what's come out. Uh, and basically, the hens, uh, will, 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 to stop them pairing up, they actually get raced every week, they get hard trained, and they're kept truly uncomfortable in the loft. The loft's in good condition everything, but the hens, are, to make them uncomfortable so then they don't pair up. Yeah, and work them hard, work and hard obviously and you need to control well. the diet. Yeah. Um, but when you control diet, you still got to get the, you still got to have the energy factor in them to be oh, able to be trained yeah, that's right. and go to race every week. Much. Not yeah. when you're working them. Yeah. Man. yeah, that's it. Yeah, very good. Um, and it keeps them in good condition. Good. We'll start from Saturday after the race. So, say you're racing, for instance, your pigeons have come home from the race. Yeah. Do the pigeons obviously go? The cocks go into ends, or you know, or they're waiting for the ends. Yeah. Um, obviously, around about, we're all going to be raced together. Yeah, um, basically the, at the beginning of the season, uh, yeah. the first few races, should I say, the first two races, the hens don't go. Right. We, we train the cocks up. Uh, basically it's for the, the hens to be there for when the cocks come. After two races, um, the cocks are, are normally a bit tired anyway, so you get on your 200 mile or your 150 mile yeah. race, yeah. Uh, and then we start sending the hens. So basically within, in time, the hens will cut the hens is back and the cocks is, will see the hens anyway. I think if we uh, if we were to send the cocks and hens the first race and the, the cock comes back and there's no hen there for the first two races, I think uh, if he gets that two weeks running, yeah. I think he's going to sicken himself and just say, no, I ain't going to bother next week. Right. But um, we before we pair up, we actually uh, give the, the day before we pair up, we'll give the cock the ball in the pen with straw and everything. So, in actual fact, when he comes home from the race, if the hen isn't there, he seems a bit, he'll, he'll sit and wait contented in his, with his bowl because that's what he had prior to his pairing up. And he says, right, yeah. I pair up, the bowl's there, he gets his hen on the night locked in the pen, right. um, and he's outside 
just so that it's convenient for us so the next day we can actually yeah. pair them up and there's no squabbling or anything like that. But it's like he remembers as in he gets his ball, yeah. he gets his head, you know, he sees his head and then he gets in with his head and that carries on through the season on a race day, on a, on a Friday before it goes away, he'll get his ball first and he'll get his head. So and then when it comes the back, so the system, so the system like is, said. especially with the Yearlands, I mean, we've had some good results uh, with Yearlands on the, you know, the first few yep. races when you would actually think them pigeons need to be uh, educated a bit more, but it doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to bother them. So we'll start when the pigeons on return from race day. Yes, on a Saturday. On a Saturday. Yeah. What would you be actual feeding? What would you be giving them? Feeding. You know, what um, type of corn would you be giving them on, on return from race? Yeah. Um, I think in the past we've actually used, there's different ways we've been doing it. You know, people used to say, um, feed your protein at the beginning of the week, then your uh, carbohydrates and then your fats. Um, but basically I think uh, we're using it that way, we've been getting good results, yep. uh, we're getting winners, but we weren't getting pigeons actually coming as, uh, what we say as in, you wouldn't get the one, two, three, or you, you, you yeah. would get gaps between them. They didn't come as a, didn't team. Come as a team. They didn't ping. They didn't. You knew during the week that they weren't banging away from the the, the training point, or and then you knew that they weren't going to do the same on a Saturday. Yeah. We decided we need. To, we'll think. You know. We'll, we'll try something. Whereas the pigeons yeah. are a lot more alert. Maybe not as much corn or whatever it is. So right. um, basically, on the Saturday when they come back. They'll have time with the hens. They'll uh, they'll get a drink water, but so the feed. Basically, would you give them a little a light feed straight away, or just leave them with hens? No, just leave them with hens. I wouldn't be bothered about any corn. I don't no. think it's uh, it's any good to them anyway at, the, at that time. Right. Um, yeah. But uh, they'll maybe two hours into the race when the hens come away. Uh, well, so is that you know, how long you give them that? Two depending hours? on what what type of race it is, or uh, what yeah. distance it is, or. Yeah. Basically, how busy we are, if I've got to go down for clocks, I mean, yeah. you've got to work around yourself. Uh, I don't think it's, um, I don't think there's any, you know, strict rule on what, right. how long you've got to stop with, you know, they've got to stop. Um, so after the hens have been took away, maybe it's two hours, they'll get a little light feed of, like, a, a diet. It's very light coloured, so it's like, a, a, you'll have your paddy rice, like, it's a, it's a, a better, it's a higher grade deputy, yeah. I would say. We like mungo beans and all. All, yeah, all and that you, and your ricin and, and your white dairy and your, you know, um, right. likes of that. Uh, that's what they would get. And I mean, they would get a touch of that, like I say, the two hours. And then the main feed on the night would be, it's 40% raw protein. So it's just like a brewer's yeast powder, what yes. you put on the corn. So we'll, what we'll actually do is we'll put uh, like a garlic oil or something on yep. to stick that to the corn. And they would have as much as that as they wanted on the Saturday night. On the Saturday night, until they refuse. And, and, and then that's yeah. it, and the pots would be emptied, the doors would be locked, right. and then so just we'll leave So we'll go now, yeah, that's very good. What about Sunday morning then? Sunday yeah. morning. Um, you pigeon, will your pigeon be flying out? No, not. No? Um, I mean, as a rule, no. It'll be in all day. Right. Uh, he'll get a, exactly the same stuff. Yep. He'll get a, a, a teaspoonful of diet on the morning. We'll go back to Saturday. What about electrolytes or yeah. on return? Anything yeah. in the water for that? Yeah, like uh, uh, any some kind of, uh, type of salts, just to put everything back into them. Little, yeah. Yeah, um, and on a Sunday they'll be done um, every. What? Wait, it'll be it'll be one one week out of two. They'll be canker in that in that water. Right. So um, how long will they be cankered for? So it's every miss it, canker them. Uh, one weekend, miss the next weekend. Yeah, or possibly so just depending on me. On the Sunday? Yeah. For what, in the water form or tablet form? In the water form. The rule of thumb is we'll treat yeah. at least, you know, once out of two weeks with a canker. Right. What Be about um, coccidiosis? No, we've, uh, we've never had any trouble with coxy. I mean, like worms? I say, worms. Worms. Respiratory. Every, worms every six weeks. The we will treat again um, every once out of two weeks for some kind of res respiratory, be it uh, Tylosin Plus, uh, um, Tylomute, or uh, you know any any product that's uh, that, wait what, what we can get. We'll just go down and see Kevin. What's see what capable he's, of doing a good job. It, it yeah. needs it needs its point is given it unless it's going to do the job. Yeah. And it ain't uh, a five deer or anything like that. No. It'll be uh, just a couple of deers. That's all you'll need. Uh, and just to make sure you clean up. But um, I mean we'll go down Kevin's. Um, Maybe it's once a month. Put them through and have a look, see if there's anything wrong. If that's, yeah, if that's a case. Tested, I, 
we'll get the Kevin, we'll get the right? droppings with Kevin. So uh, obviously tested. You'll, you'll not even treat unless Kevin comes with <coughs> a problem, which you have to. Um, no, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we we'll still go down Kevin's once a month, but we still treat at least one out of two weeks with the canker. With the canker. It's just uh, we're in the biggest club. You, you go into the basket with other other pigeons. I don't think. Uh, it, it, you'll actually get canker, doesn't matter what you do. That's going to yeah. come in the basket at least out of two weeks. You're going to get out of them two weeks. One week, you're going form, to get it. Keep that Just form, keep that because once you lose it, bay, that's it. You need you've got to pick them up again. So and keep takes, them. Right, if you right. let it drop too far, exactly. it takes yeah. getting back. You yeah, haven't got the time happens. to be doing it, have you? That's so it. if you keep on top of things, yeah. it's keeping it at yeah. bay, basically at bay. Right, yeah. that's how we're on. That's onto the sun, dear. So we're going like Sunday afternoon now. Uh, Sunday afternoon. Are your pigeons exercised Sunday afternoon? Um, no, not really. No. What about basically feed? Feed, exactly. Well, what they'll do is they'll get a, um, a just an ounce of the diet again. Right. And they'll be fed in the pens for that. Right. Um, one ounce per bird, yeah. Yeah, and they'll they'll they'll, they'll be hungry. Yeah. But uh, what about water? Uh, water um, in, in the water for Sunday in the water if the can is in the can is in oh, right. if it if, it, if I'm not what about the following week when you don't canker well it's just um, we'll just have ordinary just like right, clean water that's just it nothing clean, else clean water. Right. right very good so we're going now basically to uh, Monday morning now Monday morning obviously um, your pigeons out or pigeons might might go out on Monday morning or depending any, any, on what time we've got no training Monday at all no. Right, so basically, so they, they go out yeah. if weather permitting. Anything can weather go to Monday. Yeah, Monday. Um, Monday will uh, if it ain't, if, if the canker's still in exactly the same. The canker will go maybe two days. Right. Um, if if there's no canker in, yep, it's just it's just water, just clay, just water. clay water, and the same thing on the morning. The feed. What, um, what about what would you be feeding Monday morning? Monday morning, an ounce. Uh, sorry. A teaspoonful of your diet. About what basically set times half past nine? Well, yeah. when actually on a Monday, it's when I'm at work, so I'll go to work, so I'm around before I go to work, so that would be any time before quarter past seven. Right. Uh, I'll just go in. If they ain't out, uh, I'll just go in, I'll just go around, I'll just give them a spoonful yeah. of uh, like the diet, uh, and that's it. What about Monday evening then? Monday you? evening, see them again, they'll get an. Uh, are the exercise Monday evening? Monday evening there will be, if it's well, alright. Four slides, no, or just, just open doors, or any flags, shut doors, flags, no? They'll be out, the doors will be shut, and if they want to drop, they'll, we'll, we'll let them drop. I don't think it's basically the feed that you're giving them. It isn't uh, consistent with them, you know, the, as in to actually make them fly. It's just, um, there's not enough enough there for it, so we don't want them to fly. Well, not that we don't want them to fly, they don't need to fly. I, I just, we just kind of see a point yeah. of the pigeons flying on Monday when they don't need to. That's right, yeah. So what about this feed, Monday, basically five o'clock again? Monday, yeah. What would it be? Are you still on a diet or are you adding on to 50-50? No, no still, on, still on a diet. And what would you say, how, how much per pigeon? An ounce again. An ounce? But no, I, would not, I, would, I don't go over the ounce. Don't go so over an ounce. ounce of bird. So roughly yeah. they're on an ounce and a quarter up to that stage. It's a teaspoon yeah. and a quarter of an ounce in the morning. Yeah, but from a Monday, um, there would be a, so uh, maybe a teaspoonful of uh, a mixed seed, like which would be a, a, a canary budgie hemp mixed seed. Yeah, black rape and bits of Yeah, just there. a little bit of seed. Popped in the in after they've had the main feed. The main, the ah, main so that's feed. like the tidbit. After the diet, that'll be yeah. a tidbit after. Yeah. What a, ah, there we go. What about Tuesday morning? Tuesday morning. Yep. A teaspoonful of your diet. But what about letting them out training? Sorry, sorry. Um, Tuesday morning, yep. they'll go out and they'll actually be flagged. Right. Um, and usually... How long for? I, I think uh, basically you just see what the race was previous on the Saturday, if there's been, you know, if you've had a race with them. Basically what you'll tell whether they're, yeah. uh, they're going to do it or not. If they're tired, we'll just let them down after... Why, half an hour if if that yep. uh, if they want to drop we'll take the flags down they'll come in and that's it, it's all right with us and that's so basically what about water anything uh, water, water um we'll put some uh, multivitamins in what um, particular uh, any particular again, brand what you get off at market or whatever any 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 multivitamin there's um there's there's just different ones truthfully i mean i don't even bother if 
if I'm in a pet shop or if I go to a corn shop or anything like that and there's some multivits and the price is right, I buy them. They're just, they're, not, they're not basically all the same. They're just what you've got to get out of them and get. it's what the pigeons have got to get into them. And that's... So that'll be Tuesday morning multivitamin? Yeah. And that'll be left until when? Sure, it'll be left out. All day. So yeah, it'll be all taken day. out Wednesday morning? Yeah. Right, so um, we'll come on to Wednesday morning now then. Yeah. Training, uh, sorry, Tuesday night. If we look at the forecast and we think um, we're going to have a dodgy day Wednesday, Thursday, we may give them a, a short one, but we'll not go any, any further. I mean, the most we'll go during the racing season would be a uh, place we take them as Samson, which is about 20, maybe it's 22 mile. Right, so that, um, that, they'll be going Tuesday afternoon, 22 Tuesday mile. Tuesday evening. Weather evening, permitting. Tuesday weather evening. permitting. Yep. Um, and then it, they'll go again like that on a Wednesday night. But what about the actual feed for Tuesday? Tuesday, Tuesday p.m. after training. Right, Tuesday p.m. again. An ounce of the diet, St but possibly, diet. yeah, but yeah. possibly, depending on which way the pigeons is handling, which way the pigeons are performing, flying, going around the doors. Plus, you want to hit them with a little bit of training. Uh, I might add a little bit uh, super widowhood. Um, but nothing, not a lot. Maybe so it's at the rate of what particular super widow do you use? Again, no particular widow. I mean, at the time. So now I'm any, using anything planned this year. Well, you'll not be switching your corn, obviously. Yeah, no, what it is now, we're just using basically with the price of corn the way it is now going up. I don't think there's any need to. Um, I don't think all corns the same. Uh, we we're using a corn, uh, a Laverick Hall corn, from up. Um, up Seat and Delaville way, yeah. up there, that's what we're using. And it's uh, it's basically not the cheapest, but it's a, it's a cheaper corn than the other. And I mean, it's what you can afford. And that if the pigeons are coming on that, I don't see any point of, oh, no, uh, no. of using anything else, uh, like you say, as long as the pigeons keep them all right. But we do, I mean, we'll buy a, a bag of, or a couple of bags of um, Superstar Plus, like a Vessel Lager type. Yep. And that's, that'll, you know, that'll come into force maybe a little bit later in that week or it'll come in earlier as the as the uh, race gets a bit distance on it it'll yeah. get a bit of that because it's got your all your you know let's say your extra plus stuff it's got your all your extra bits and pieces in uh, just to bring a bit better out in the pigeons yeah but well we've covered up to tuesday tuesday evening wednesday, wednesday morning. morning wednesday morning we'll do um exactly the same sort of said the diet yeah. teaspoonful what you know, about exercise exercise they'll go out and they'll do um, shut doors, shut flags. Shut doors, flags. What, one hour. Um, and then, uh, then they may do an hour, but I mean exactly the same. If they're looking to be down, you know, you, I know myself or Ian will know when they come round and they're looking as if they want to be down. It ain't worth flogging them, so oh, no. we'll, we'll take the we'll take the flags down, yeah. and they'll drop them. The main thing is that we, I mean, if we're going to, I'm going to work, I need to be able to open those doors. When I open the doors, okay. then pigeons need to be in, okay. down and locked up, so I can okay. feed them and get off to work. Otherwise, okay. uh, you've got pigeons left out. Yeah, they've got to work so, on you, basically. Exactly. Uh, so basically, if you, ain't got the, if you don't get the feed right uh, to control them, plus the feed right to actually uh, get the performance out of them, uh, that's, what, that's what you've got to try to achieve. Uh, and that's the way, way we do it. Yep. Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening. Um, like Wednesday you say, afternoon we'll, or, or what? Well, you know. Wednesday, our, uh, our times for letting out is probably, like you say, I'll let the, them out on a morning and it'll be uh, sort of around about half past five for the widowed cocks. You know, five o'clock, half past five when I get from work. So uh, the feed on a Wednesday, like you say, is your, your, diet's, your diet's always there until a Wednesday, but they could be topped up like you could have like three parts of the widowhood mix. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Quarter day. Yeah. So and how much? One ounce per bird or? or it's still the same. Still the still same. Still the same. Right. Yeah. Right. Anything keep water Wednesday evening? Um, Wednesday. Uh, I like to say, um, just when it, when I think what whatever's to go in, I might put uh, I say some uh, some more multivits in or whatever. Just they're actually uh, training, so just something to you know, put a little bat into them or some salts or whatever it is, just to uh, keep them right. But I mean, we don't have to have anything in, it's just, no. it's just the way it works. Yeah, about Thursday morning then, David? Thursday morning, that's when, uh, the, you know, that's when they start, uh, they should be, they've getting a bit more um, heavier corn in on the Wednesday night, so they should be starting to, feel, to feel you know, themselves, yeah. perform. If, uh, if they haven't been away, like I say, if uh, Tuesday, they might go training, 
depend on the forecast. If they ain't been away on the Wednesday night, they'd go train on the Thursday night. So on a Thursday morning, they'll still go out and they'll get the exactly the same, the yep. spoonful of diet. Right. That's in like a teaspoonful of diet. There is a little bit seed on the Thursday. Yeah? Um, and if they're still a bit hungry, maybe it's a little, you know, top it up a little bit. Um, and as you see on the Thursday morning water, there may be, uh, we might put some electrolytes, you know, electrolytes or salts in or whatever it is um, on the Thursday. Or if it's a week where we want to be treating for, like you see, anything else like a respiratory or something like that, there's, uh, it'll only be for that deer, um, I don't know, Tylosin Plus or something like that, just to uh, clean them out and give them that little bit of a lift, uh, you know, and uh, you can, I think you end the day, if you do it right, you can see the pigeons change from, you'll see, you'll see you know, the, you can the see the change. Right? They'll tell you, won't they? Right, they'll, they'll so we're that. going like basically on to Thursday, night. Thursday, Thursday night now. That Thursday be, night. You know, should be a main, yeah. main feeding then before race day. Yeah, um, Thursday night. What about training Thursday afternoon? Thursday night, like I see if the weather's been a bit dodgy on the Tuesday or Wednesday and you haven't getting a toss or you're getting a, a, a train on a Tuesday you know, or not on the Wednesday, so they have to go to twice a week. So Thursday night, they would go along the road for the same thing, 20, 22, 22 mile, mile. Um, back. Uh, then they would, I mean, we might even, for the first couple of races, they might even see the hens that night. There might be the hens knocking about in the pens, just flash them by, let them see them put them back in, settle them down, and then uh, basically feed them up. So would you give them as much as they want to eat on a Thursday night, though? Uh, yeah, definitely. You won't be giving an ounce, you'll be, you'll no, be no. giving them what they I, can I mean, eat. even on the Wednesday, like I see it, the Wednesday, if you if you think it's, it's if it depends on what the race has been previous, or what you think is going to come up, uh, it's, I think the, the, the main thing is, as a basis, the feed's okay, the, well, the feed's good, but you need to be able to eat to read what's happening or what's, what has Obviously been happening. Obviously it's going to be 100% widowhood, yeah, on, on Thursday night. Anything yeah. extra, anything? Well, the widowhood, but like I say, it'll be, I would, um, it's actually the, um, uh, what is it called, Superstar Plus, which has got like the immune who, system who, type. Who makes that for uh, you know? Vessel Lager, I think. So right. it's Vessel Lager, yeah. Super... It's Superstar Plus. Plus. And I'll, I'll, I'll bang that into them till the, well, till the can't eat no more. Yeah, and yeah. then I'll go in again and I'll put a, a uh, couple of teaspoonfuls of seed in, yeah. see if they like that, then yeah. I'll go back to the You'll be trying again. to get as much energy it's, in it, that's what it is. and everything right. in, yeah? yeah? What about Friday morning? Your pigeons, will they fly out Friday morning? No. no. Friday morning, they'll just, Friday morning's bath, yeah, they'll have a bath. Yeah. Um, Another thing, what about minerals and grit? Throughout minerals the and week, grit. Throughout the week. Do you use them? We you use them, it? but it's it's not it. We not have to put them in there then, whatever it is. Yeah. We're just... As I'm going along and I'm, I'm looking through the lofts and doing me bits and pieces, yep. I'll put a handful of grit in here and a just bit of minerals in there. Yeah, and uh, Basically, yeah. you use your own initiative and yeah. common sense. Yeah. I mean, there's bits and pieces we'll put into the corn, the minerals, so they're getting, yeah. they're getting everything. It's what just about Friday, clear water? Clear water, yeah. What time would you be feeding for the race, usually for sprint racing, not to 200 miles and that? Would there be any specific time, dinner Friday time? Morning, no, Friday morning, I'll be round at 7 o'clock before I Will go to work. Will you take the corn out Thursday night? Yeah. You don't leave it overnight? No, I don't leave it overnight. And then you'll, before you go to work, obviously yeah. you'll feed to work around your down. work commitments. Yeah, yeah, I'll feed them and if I'll wait till, the, I'll wait till the half an hour, whatever it is. Right. So and that's that's uh, exactly the same as before. That'll be uh, Superstar Plus. Superstar Plus, yeah. Yeah, on a Friday morning, what they want. Yeah. But they'll, they'll I'll, not... I'll, they'll not, I'll leave it. I'll leave it, depending on what time I get round and what yeah. time I've got to go to work. Yeah. I want to be leaving, about, leaving it about at least a half an hour. Right. And I'll just watch them. And you'll, they'll just tend to pick, pick. Uh, they'll maybe go at it for a, a, you know, a couple of minutes or whatever it is, yeah, and then yeah. they'll just see it. And then I'll, I'll take it away and I'll give them exactly the same. Usually see if I can give them a bit more seed. They won't do that. Not when they're right, anyway. But they're still, they're still carrying a little bit off the, the previous night. So, yeah. like I say, that it's uh, just to put everything into them before that twelve o'clock. I think. Right. Clear water, Friday. Yeah. 